Hey everybody, this is Dave Blair, and I wanted to recap my Season 2 of 2020. And um, I was basically, I decided to take on six individual uh, series in iRacing. So I did the BMW um, GTE car. I did the rough GT3 car, which you see right here. I did the Skip Barber, I did the Mustang, I did the Cadillac, and I did the Porsche GT4 car. So those were the six individual series that I took part in, and we'll take a look at my results. Um, yeah, I would say that taking on six individual series is a lot. Also, when you consider um, I'm also heavily involved with the Simpit and uh, I race in a couple series with them, mainly the Mustang on Tuesday nights, and I also do the, um, the NASCAR Oval Series that we have on Friday nights. Um, on top of that, I also am running in the uh, Dirt Rally 2.0 Series that Devin Booth set up, and that is uh, a new set of four stages every Friday night. So other than that, I think that's all I've been doing, but that's been enough. Uh, I also managed to work in one uh, sim racing system race in Assetto Corsa. Um, but yeah, so I highly would not recommend doing that. But the thought I had coming into this season was um, I wanted to concentrate on fixed setup races. I thought that would save me some time. Um, I really enjoyed the BMW because it's it's a quick 12 minute race the BMW is a fixed setup in the uh, GTE car and um, I bought this car here this is the Porsche or the rough uh, GT3 car and while I didn't think Lime Rock would be a good fit for this car and it was I came in third in this race um, yeah this car is just it feels great on every track I tried it on uh, I raced the Nordschleife with it, uh, even Sakuba, which is a, a short track. Um, the car is just great everywhere, and it seems to have a lot of people running in it. I'm glad I got this car and I entered this series. This is probably the only one uh, road series that I'm going to be doing for Season 3. Because, again, I think I overstretched myself by doing 6, and I kind of ran out of steam. Um... I try to knock out at least two races a night, but uh, 12 weeks um, trying to keep up with six individual series on top of the other things that I was doing was a lot. So I wouldn't recommend it. But I think I'm going to continue with this one, and then I'd also like to try and do an oval uh, series next time. Um, see if I can get my oval license up. Um, yeah, the oval is probably where I struggle the most. Um, I'm not really an oval guy, but I really enjoy the Simpit Oval Series, and I would like to get my oval license up in high racing. So I think I'm going to do an oval series next season. Um, and I think I'm just going to limit it to uh, those two, just this rough and an oval series. I haven't decided if I want to do the trucks or the cars yet, but um, I'll have to make that decision in another week since week 13 is coming up. Um, also, I would also like to get back into maybe uh, a set of Corsa uh, using the sim racing system. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, definitely, I took on too much this time, and just trying to keep up with everything was a lot more difficult than I thought. So let's check some of my results. Okay, starting here at the top, the BMW uh, M8 GTE. It's a fixed series. And these are really quick races, uh, 12 minutes rolling start, so you better be ready to go. Um, I, I do like these races because they're short. I finished 126 in Division 3. And you can see there's eight weeks counted. I had 20 starts, and I had two top five finishes. Uh, but this is very competitive and it's very fast, so you don't have a whole lot of time to uh, catch up or make your passes. You've got to be aggressive in this one. All right, the next one up is the Fanatec Global Challenge, 
Now this one is a mixed, you can either take the Cadillac or the Kia Optima. And it's also a fixed setup race. Okay, I finished 17th in this series. Eight starts, 16 or 16 starts out of eight weeks counted. And I had eight top five finishes. All right, next up is the IMSA Michelin, Michelin Pilot Challenge. This is a mixed class series, but uh, it's open setup. And of course I ran the Porsche, which was the new car for season two. And your other option was the Audi RS3 LMS. Um, but yeah, I ran the, uh, the Porsche because it was new. And last season I did run the Audi in this series. Okay, and this one I finished 156. Eight weeks, only 14 starts, and one top five finish. All right, the next was the Rough GT3 Challenge Series. And again, I bought this car specifically for this series because it's a fixed series. And I finished 33rd. Out of the eight weeks, I only had 11 starts, but four top five finishes. All right, the SimLab Production Car Challenge is the next one. This one is a mixed class, but it's um, open setup. Your choices are the Pontiac Solstice, the VW Jetta, the Mustang, or the Mazda. And, of course, I went with the Mustang. Okay, I finished 10th in this one. Out of the eight weeks counted, I had 12 starts. I had two wins and eight top five finishes. This is probably the best performance one that I had. And then the last one is the Skip Barber series. Okay, in the Skip Barber series, I finished 266. There's a lot of people that run this car. Uh, out of the eight weeks, I had uh, 13 starts, one f uh, win, and three top five finishes. Uh, the reason I picked this car anyway was because of David Sampson. Uh, he has a YouTube channel, and he has a lot of helpful videos. But uh, he's he really likes this car, and I decided to run it because of his videos. I'm not a, really a big fan of the open wheelers, but this is the only one that I ran. And with this car, I will say, you definitely have to push it. Once the tires get warm, you've got to push this car and be aggressive. Everyone else is. And you can see, this is my worst performing at 266. Even though I did have one win in this series, um, this season. But it's definitely a lot of competition. Again, I would highly recommend do not do what I did. Do not take on so many different series. Just concentrate on one or two. And, you know, work the results, you know. Uh, try to climb the ladder of the individual series that you're in. Uh, depending on what division you fall in. Again, I'm Division 3. I might get promoted at the end of this one. And I might be Division 2 in the next series. But um, I think that should be your goal uh, you know, or, or a better way to focus instead of trying to race all the cars that you want to race. Um, it just leads a little bit to frustration and burnout uh, is what I found. And I think that if I were to just focus on one car series and then just try to climb the ladder because the people that, that race the same car every night um, have better stats at the end of the season than I do trying to run uh, six different cars multiple times during the week. And again, uh, I really burnt myself out a little bit and, um, you know, kind of lost focus of what I was trying to do. There's just, there's 12 weeks is just too long and uh, a lot can happen. So I don't know. That's just what I've learned this trying to do this season two with six different individual series on top of everything else I was running. Um, and it started to not be fun at the end. So, yeah, try to have fun. Just, do, you know, focus on one at a time. Don't don't overdo it. That's my advice. And that's what I learned. All right. Thanks for watching.